Hey guys, this is Ali with my Nokia blog, and today we're going to take a look at Bell Refresh for the first gen Symbian devices, including the N8, E7, X7, C7, C601, and the Oro. This, this update was just pushed out today, and in fact, it's still rolling out. It's going to be available first for carrier unlocked phones, and then hopefully soon for carrier locked phones, such as Vodafone and the usual gang. Um, this update is not a radical update, it's a couple small tweaks, couple changes. You will find some differences between the N8 version and other versions as there are some photo-centric apps added for the N8. Um, but a lot of changes are under the hood and once again it's not a huge change. So let's just take a look at um, the settings. As you can see here, it's called Nokia Bell Refresh software version is 111.04511 compared to the 808 or the other devices that are running Nokia Bell feature pack 1 which is software version 112. Um, the software version date is um, is July 28th so it's been ready for about a month. They've been hiding it from us. That's fine. Um, swipe this down. As you can see here, you have the browser version is 8.3, which is actually more than Bell Feature Pack 1 devices, which are still running 8.2. Um, however, when I compared it against the 808, the 808 still loaded pages faster, which is probably due to um, the more increased processing power. Flash version is similar between the two, 4.0, and Java version is 2.3 on Bell Refresh, while it is 2.4 on Bell Feature Pack 1. So that's uh, one point up for Feature Pack 1 on the 808. Um, now the changes basically you have a bunch of widgets are added. I'm not going to list them all because I'm not sure which is new and which is not. You'll find a complete list on the blog. Um, just take a look at some of the widgets that are added. You have a text clock as you can see here. If it's giving you time and text and you also have a mechanical clock. Interestingly this mechanical clock was leaked about a year ago with a bunch of other widgets which are available now. A bunch of um, toggles and data counters and stuff and this widget was included in them. So another the other widgets we have is the photo wall, which you'll be familiar with from the 808 on Bell Feature Pack 1. It just displays your latest captured photos, and every time you swipe back, it's refreshed, and clicking on a photo will take you directly into the gallery. Sorry, it's because I have the gallery open. So if I click on a photo here, it will, it should open that photo in the gallery, and it seems like, okay, there you go. I don't know why that photo wasn't working. The other widget, that main widget that I've noticed is the notes widget, which allows you to quickly add notes and edit notes from inside, from the home screen, as well as view these notes. So if I just click here and I click delete, it'll delete my latest note, and I can add another note. The, the keyboard is still the same, hasn't been changed, nothing new there, so if I just save that, Go back to my home screen, the note is there now. And as you can see, I can quickly read and organize my notes from my home screen. The other change that I've noticed is the music player is, has a new layout up here. As you can see, you have, it's completely redesigned. Um, fortunately, I don't have any tracks on the N8, so I can't show you guys. But now I can sweep between albums, songs, playlists, genres, and back, all from the main screen and I believe playing there's a new layout for the music playing I'm not gonna download music right now sorry guys um unfortunately there aren't that's where most of the changes stop we still have the same the the drop down menu hasn't changed it does not display notifications with with the clear option as it does on the 808 Sorry, I'd show you them side by side, but I'm filming with the 808 right now. Um, also, the gallery and the, and the camera UI on the N8 are the same. They haven't changed. As you can see here, same camera and the gallery. I think you guys already saw that, but let's look at it again. Is the same. Sorry. The gallery hasn't changed between the N8 and between the original Bell and this one. Another app, some other apps that you might find on the N8 only versus the rest of the devices are um, 
DLNA, DLNA Play, as well as Big Screen. These apps are for viewing your photos on TV and streaming content. These might be phone specific, I'm not exactly sure. There's also supposed to be an app called Colorize It, as I read on Change Logs. I haven't got it, but some people might get it. Just photo tweaking apps like a fake Instagram. Also, Nokia Social has been updated. Unfortunately, I can't run it because it requires a SIM card in the phone and my SIM is cut, so I can't switch SIM cards into the N8 to demo it out. But um, that's about it. I might have forgot a couple things. If so, just check the comment, the, the info for the video. I'll update you guys there and just check the blog. You'll find a full change log and some screenshots there. Um, thanks for watching and um, comment, like, and subscribe. And if you guys do notice anything new, let us know, please. Anywhere on the comments, by email, Twitter, you know, we'd love to hear from you guys. Okay, thanks. That's all. Bye.